Hello, people. This is Loud and Styles, and I'm being joined by Young Blood Fantasy, and this is another Helter Skelter rant. I am a cool cat with a passion for video games, and he is a striped tiger with a six year old sidekick. By our awesome sauce powers combined, we formed the Helter Skelter Ranters. Indeed, that we do. I totally did not just F that one line up, but oh well. Who cares? <laughs> exactly. Anyway, today our topic is going to be on. Third gen commentators. Oh yes, the hot button topic that just pisses everybody off today. Now. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those topics that people get very, very sensitive and reactionary about. To be honest with you. Yes. Some have the reaction of, uh, meh, okay. While others have the actual, how dare you? And I'm sorry they do. But uh, Ben, why don't you? Do you want to start off about the whole third gen thing and how you feel about it? Yeah, no problem. Um, let me tell. Let me give you some background first. I joined the commentary community officially in 2009 on my previous account. My commentaries were ugh to begin with, but I never thought of anything in the in a course of a timeline. I never really <clears throat> envisioned the commentary community as if it was like a massive timeline of events that started from 2007 onwards. I always thought that we were just a commentary community with a bunch of commentators who did you know, disparate commentaries and everything. I always continue to think that until 20, 2011, when E10 III and a bunch of other people began to say stuff about third gen. Now, I did not know what third gen even meant. In fact, I had to do some research. So apparently the breakdown is they compartmentalized the whole fan, not the whole fan base, sorry, but the whole commentary community. Basically, commentaries pretty much started on YouTube in, I guess, 2007. Yeah, so, seven. So if you joined between 2007 and 2008, you're considered first gen. If you joined between 2009, 2010, you're second gen. And if you joined between like late 2010 and early 2011, that's third gen. Exactly. That's how the whole that's how the whole thing is broken down, actually. And here's the thing about it: when Eaton the Third made the video, he to me, he was just stating what he felt about the, the commentary community and how he felt it was going downhill. And Giggles made a video, which I got to say was more thorough than Nate, than E10 the Third itself. And then everybody else starts jumping on it and start making comments about, like, oh, Thurgeon sucks. And they're mostly doing that because of the fact that they know that most of the guys in the community are a little too, are, get, are a little too emotional and get a bit too serious about it. Considering when they saw the Jim 81 Jim thing going on. I think the Jim 81 Jim incident pretty much established a name for third gen commentators. Because here's the thing all the third gen commentators, according to Etan and even according to Giggles, share a bunch of internal characteristics. For instance, Jim 81 Jim pointed out that they all use anime characters, they all have weird voices, and they make uh, criticism and not humor. Like they keep saying that their focus is, their main problem with everything is. Constructive criticism is the theme of commentaries as opposed to humor, which is more applicable to the first-gen commentators and even second-gen commentators. I'm a second-gen myself, so I guess around that time, most people f focused on like humor and being funny and maybe even uh, insulting people once in a while to give criticism. In fact, I model my commentaries off of Boomstick 545. Usually, Boomstick 545 would give criticism, but like 85% of his commentaries most of the time were just outright hilarious and just funny and they weren't serious at all you see that's what i model it odd off of and apparently the trend is now third gen commentators do you know criticism and stuff now i have not too much of a problem with it but see the thing is though when people fall for trolling like that you have to question their like reasons for doing that like how do people not realize that it's a troll video you know what i mean well, it's because it also goes down to the fact that most of them are who do commentators are that that you know are new to commentators are probably new to YouTube and the internet period and don't realize or can't really figure out um, who's trolling and who's really you know trying to give you criticism, and I think that's just the problem that I have with it. And also, I just have to say, um, even though you have at least 100 something people saying that they like your videos, there's going to be at least a hundred more to say, oh, your video was mad, and there's like a few things you, you can work on with it. Exactly. There's always going to be people who criticize you. 
And those people are the people you have to pay attention to. But see, here's the thing. Because I consider third gen just a label, I follow the, um, the immortal words of Kierkegaard, and he stated, he's a, he's a Danish philosopher, by the way, go check him out, he's awesome. He stated that once you label me, you negate me. I consider the third gen commentary label a negation of me, because third gen is a stereotype. It's a false dichotomy. It doesn't make sense. I mean, if you're third gen, you automatically are terrible. That, that doesn't make any sense. There's no middle ground to support that. There are some third gen commentators that actually are pretty good, like Jigglypuff218 or um, B Get or B Gal or or Dark Rock Guy or uh, who? What other ones? Slap Happy Gamer or Phoenix Saint Gal, Young Arthur Adam, etc., etc., etc. Gen Otaku123. You know, those are great commentators. But see, here's the thing: when you are labeled that, just there, it's n it's not really real. It's just a false dichotomy and a label. Just ignore it. That's what I would do. You know? Exactly. It's all it is. It's just a label, and you should not take it that you know you should not take it that seriously. And I know there's a lot of people that go, "Well, I'm just so tired of being generalized." Yeah. I, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. I'll just say this: you're going to be generalized for the rest of your life, no matter what you do. There's always going to be people who are assholes. Like my my philosophy is. There's always going to be a part of the population who are assholes who will generalize, and, you know, you just have to live with that. There really is no changing that unless you want to, you know, like, kill all the assholes, but, like, that would be stupid, wouldn't it? That would be a genocide, you know? actually. That would, that <laughs> would be genocide, would be and that destroyed. would be, like, and if you do it over the internet, no one's going to listen to you because it's going to be internet threat number one million and six, so there you go. Yeah, and, you know, we've all been taught that internet drama is meaningless, so. Exactly. I mean, and I just got nothing else to say because it's just – it's like I've been hearing this all the time. Like everybody uses the third-gen commentators call. Like, oh, third-gen sucks for this, this, that, and the other. Mostly just say third-gen sucks and don't even give a reason for it. And then everybody's just going off the radar, going crazy, just going, oh, how dare you talk about third-gen – how dare you? I'm not a third-gen commentator. All you can basically do about this is just to ignore all of it. You know who you are. You know what videos you do. Just go on with your life and quit giving a shit what people say. If if somebody like Geek comes up to you and say that you suck because you're a third-gen commentator, here's the best thing you can do. Ignore it and go on. That is the best advice I could give you guys, too. I mean, to be honest, the third-gen card is overused. It's almost as bad as the troll card, to be honest with you. I mean, the troll and, card is stupid, too. It's very ineffective. Yeah, because uh, – and you know who you can thank for the third-gen card being so overused? You can thank guys like the Armored Cat and Tubers and anybody else besides Giggles and Eaton the Third that start jumping on it and say, Oh, third-gen suck, too, because I agree with whatever Giggles and Eaton the Third saying. Yay, I'm so popular. Yay! Am I cool yet? <laughs> Am I cool yet, guys? So random XD. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. See, this is what happens when you hang out with a guy like Ethan the Third. You start doing stupid shit like that. Um, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I think that's about it. We were just rambling on for God knows how long about this whole entire predicament. Right, but to get back on topic, to everyone who commented on Jim81 Jim... I'm sure just learn from your mistakes and don't take it to heart, okay? I know Inazuma8 learned from his mistakes, and he does great commentaries and rants. He's learning from it. Transformers Fan Co., on the other hand, he does okay commentaries. Maybe just spice up the humor a little more. That's all you need to do. Just get, like, you know, that's about it. There are just certain things, you know, certain things that you need to understand, you know? Exactly. There's, like, a lot of things you have to understand. You, like... I know that your one thing is constructive criticism, and you feel that you have to stick to that one part because if you do humor, you think it's not going to work and you're going to fail at it. Well, you got to try. That's the thing. you got to try to put humor in a video. You have to try. There's nothing that nobody's going to bust you for trying, and if they do, fuck them because at least you did something that they didn't. You tried. Yeah, exactly. You tried your best, and if you land on your face, okay, it's not a big deal. Just learn from your mistakes. It's not really a big deal at all. Okay, look, people can generalize me as a third-gen commentator. In fact, people keep in, still call me a third-gen even though I'm not. But, like, just I might be an exception. You, people might be exception. There's always exceptions to rules. Okay? Exactly. There's always exceptions to third-gen. And like I said, third-gen is, like is not even a legit label because it doesn't make sense. Okay? It just doesn't make any sense. So 
My suggestion is, guys, if you ever come across a comment that says, Oh, you're third gen, God, just just ignore it. Just move on from that and just, you know, try to live with the fact that people are going to be assholes and always are going to be fanboys of E-Tan. There's always fanboys of anything. Fanboys of E-Tan, fanboys of Giggles, fanboys of you. But the thing is, if people are going to use a third gen card, just treat it as if it was the troll card and ignore them. Yep, exactly. That's all you can do. Exactly. And I, I hate the fact that you are probably better at ranting than I am. Oh, come on, man. Don't have a... Don't be uh, envious of me. Come on. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm just... Yeah, I'm we... With you. <laughs> oh, your face! Fuck your you. Your face. <laughs> Don't make me do my Afro's Man impression on here. You better not. <laughs> Have you even heard it? No. Okay, don't no, you want to? Yeah, Giggles would totally get that. But anyway, we're, again, we're getting off topic. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We pretty much explained how third gen is maybe not even real at all. Yeah, hopefully we did. Yeah, I hope people. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. Young blow over here did. And I, I was just being an ass and just rambling on and shit. But oh well. <laughs> oh come on, you you said some shit too. Yeah, I said some shit. Ugh, your face. Um, in stereo. That's not... <laughs> no, it's in surround sound HD. Okay, fine. It's in surround sound HD. Why not? Ugh. Yay! Ugh. Okay, guys, that's about it. I'm Loud Styles, and I'm Young Blood Fantasy ninety one. And I hope you enjoyed this Helter Skelter rant. I'll see you all in the brighter later, ladies and gentlemen. And I say good day. I said good day.